Hello, my name is Andrew Shuvalov, uh, and this is the tutorial for my open source project called uh, C++ Code Generator for X State State Machine. Uh, in this tutorial, I will explain what this package does, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll do some walkthrough uh, through generated code and how to use uh, this project. Uh, in your projects, in your C++ projects, and hopefully in production. Let me share my screen. Um, so this is the home page, uh, GitHub, uh, for my project, which is called XState CPP Generator. Uh, it is XState because it is a generator uh, which is using the very popular package xState uh, as the modeling tool for your state machine. Uh, the main difference and the purpose is that, is that xState is essentially the uh, state machine generator for, uh, it is like runtime state machine for uh, TypeScript language, uh, which can be used for web development and other front-end stuff. And I am generating C++, C++ state machine, which can be used um, to essentially develop some uh, C++ servers uh, where whenever the state machine is required. Uh, the link to xState is here. You can see it is a super popular package with uh, uh, 5,000 users and 185 contributors. Uh, let me jump into my demo, which is based on a simple state machine, uh, which you can see right here in a quick start tutorial uh, on the front page of my project. Uh, so the whole st state machine is this. Uh, this is all you need uh, to define it. And some code at the end is just the invocation of the C++ generator. You will need to append this and then walk, and this will generate C++. And the dependency for C++ generator is this. It is simply uh, downloading a state uh, generator from online repository. Uh, and you essentially install it like this. So what is state machine? State machine consists of several states. In my case, those are four states. And because I'm modeling the engineer, uh, here the states are what engineer usually does, which is sleeping, working, eating, and weekend. Uh, and the rest are transitions and uh, events that I used to actually make this uh, uh, state machine uh, working. So um, what, what you will need uh, and you, what you will see is uh, four events, timer, hungry, tired, and enough. And for example, if the engineer is sleeping, then the timer event will transition the engineer to working state. Uh, there are some, um, and essentially there is a starting um, uh, state, which is sleeping. And then there is a final state, which is weekend. Once the state machine is transitioning to the final state, there is no further transitions. Um, the final state is uh, optional because you can imagine a state machine which never ends. You can have a server which runs for weeks and weeks and it's just keep transitioning through states without uh, any kind of final state. Um, what other declarations in this state machine uh, like definition? Uh, are a few actions uh, and they will be part of the C++ code. This is why I have to explain it. For example, 
before the engineer is entering the sleeping state, uh, the action start wake up timer will be posted. And when engineer is out of sleeping state, the morning routine will be posted, no matter to what the next state it will be transitioning to. Uh, however, the only transition available is uh, working, but uh, if we have many um, uh, other cases, like for example, the working state uh, can transition to uh, three other states, and uh, you may have some actions which are specific to some particular transition. Uh, or you have may have actions that are particular to the uh, state, no matter for which transition caused entering the state. So in case of sleeping uh, on leaving the exiting the uh, sleeping state, the morning routine will be executed. And if the transition was made using timer event, then essentially the uh, actions uh, to start the hungry timer and start the timer, the tired timer will be executed. Okay, now let's jump to visualizer because the X state project is actually offering you the visualization of your state machine. And this is how it will look. Uh, here is the sleeping state, the only event that will make the transition is timer. So clicking on timer, we are on working state. And on entry, it will do check event, start hungry, check, check email, start hungry timer, and check if uh, it's weekend. Uh, so once, uh, once uh, engineer gets hungry, there will be a hungry event, which will transition to eating. And when when engineer starts eating, there will be a start short timer um, uh, action, which in my demo implementation will actually start a timer. And when this timer fires, uh, boom, engineer transitions back to working event, working state. And at some point, uh, engineer will have feel like like is enough and enough will transition to the weekend state which is final and there is no further transition so this is what we will have in our c++ code so now let's see what the c++ code looks like so what i will show on the left this is generated engineer sm header which actually defines the state machine and the state machine is actually here, uh, not here. Uh, this is the state machine called engineer ascent, right? And here is the demo code, which I hand coded and which is using the state machine to do uh, like all the necessary transitions. So let me, without uh, dipping uh, to the actual state machine, I will show the demo because it is much shorter and simpler. Uh, essentially, the uh, to create a, to instantiate a state machine, uh, you may define a spec. There is a default spec provided by the code generation, uh, and if you really need something simple, you can just use default spec without replacing it. Uh, how it works is that the uh, state machine is essentially instantiated like this. Uh, you have to uh, instantiate the class engineer SM with the spec, right? And once the uh, machine is instantiated, you can kick it off with the first event. And in my demo, it will essentially work by itself. And I'll explain why. Uh, and here I'm just waiting until it is terminated. And when the machine is terminated, uh, that's it. It will stay uh, print uh, done and return. Uh, 
So how this, this, how this machine works is that I actually implemented those actions. Remember that the, uh, that the uh, actual model had, uh, for example, start wake up timer, right? Start wake up timer is action triggered when engineer is transferring to the sleeping state. So let's see in the code, in the demo code, the uh, start, is it start wake up timer, right? I, I, I don't see it. Uh, start wake up timer is right here. So essentially what, what this does, it just prints that I'm, I'm starting the wake up timer and then call start timer with 2000 milliseconds. And once this timer fires, essentially it will post event timer where payload is just null because for this demo, I don't need anything more complicated. So what is start timer is this method. So start timer is essentially creating a new thread which will just sleep for as many milliseconds as, as was requested. Uh, and then it will invoke the callback and the thread will be detached. So essentially we, uh, this demo is heavily multi-threaded. It will just create a new thread every time uh, some kind of timer-based uh, action uh, is created. 